Hi all, today we can see the components of laser. It is a continuation of last video that is the requirements for laser. In the last video we have seen the requirements as population inversion, pumping methods and metastable state. The main components required for a laser are one is active medium, next is pumping mechanism, third one is the optical resonator. First one is active medium. Active medium is the medium that is a material in which the laser action takes place. So it consists of a collection of atoms, molecules or ions that can be in the solid form, liquid form or gaseous form. In that medium, the laser action is takes place. So the active medium must be a medium with metastable state. Then only population inversion will be achieved between a higher level and lower level which will result into stimulated emission and thereby laser action takes place. For example, in helium neon laser, that is a gas laser, in that neon atoms are the active medium. In neodymium YAG laser, in which neodymium ions are the active centers. So, active medium is the collection of atoms, molecules or ions in which laser action takes place by stimulated emission of radiation. For that population inversion is required. So, the active medium must be a medium with a metastable state. The second one is pumping mechanism. For laser action to take place, we require stimulated emission. For stimulated emission, we want population inversion. So, po for population inversion, the number of atoms in the higher level must be greater than the number of atoms in the lower level. So, to achieve that population inversion, and also to maintain that population inversion for stimulated emission, a pumping mechanism is required. So in the last video, we have seen that pumping mechanism is required for raising the atom from the lower level to the higher level. So mainly we are using optical pumping, electrical discharge method, chemical pumping, etc. So optic, for example, optical pumping that we are mainly using in solid state laces. The electrical discharge method that we are using in gas laser. So a pumping mechanism is required for achieving population inversion. The third component is the most important one that is optical resonator or it is also known as a resonant cavity. Optical resonator means it consisting of a pair of mirrors. In that mirror one is perfect reflector and the other one is partial reflector. In between these mirrors, we are keeping our active medium. So, optical resonator consists of a pair of mirrors facing each other in between which we are placing the active medium so that the laser action takes place. So why we required mirrors? That also one is 100% reflecting and the other one is partially reflecting. Maybe the reflectivity is 90%. This is a schematic diagram of an optical resonator. In that we have a perfect reflector at one end that is a mirror with the reflectivity 100%. At the other end we have a partial reflector that is the reflectivity is less than 100%. So in between these mirrors we are keeping the active medium. A pumping mechanism is providing to achieve the population inversion in the active medium that is required for the laser action to take place. Inside this active medium, when the photons are produced by stimulated emission of radiation, one part is going out that provides the output laser energy. But a part of it is returned back to the medium so that it provides an optical feedback to the medium and the system will act as an oscillator. When the photons are produced, 
one part is going out and the other part is reflecting from this partial reflector into the medium again so these reflecting photons are moving back and forth when it reaches at this end this is 100 percentage reflecting so it is will completely reflecting from this side and on reaching again at the other end one part is going out and again it is reflecting back so that during its back and forth motion the multiplication of photons again takes place by stimulated emission of radiation so that at the output finally we are getting a highly intensified coherent beam so optical resonator provides an optical feedback in the system so that again it can act as an oscillator in addition to the amplification so an optical resonator consisting of an active medium that is placed between two mirrors this active center can be an atom molecules or ions with a metastable state immediately after these atoms are reaching into the higher level by some pumping mechanism the spontaneous emission will take place by the spontaneous emission we are getting photons in random direction that is not producing the laser beam but this spontaneously emitted photons will trigger these atoms to produce the stimulated emission these photons that is produced by the spontaneous emission will give the necessary energy for the atoms to produce the stimulated emission so when the stimulated emission takes place at this end that is at the partially reflecting mirror it is getting reflected back that is one part is getting reflected back during its back and forth motion again it is triggering more stimulated emission so that at the output we are getting a highly intensified coherent beam that is the laser beam so the components of laser are active medium pumping mechanism and optical resonance